Hallelujah, hallelujah, let's give the glory to God. Let's proclaim the blessing, be peace in you. You are the missionary who saved the world. Let's raise up the banner for all nations. Let's greet each other again. You are the person who is walking the covenant journey. As our choir team has given the praise, uh, God is guiding us, and God has given us the covenant, and He has led us to the covenant journey. If there's a if there's a thing that the per, the person who's walking the covenant journey have to receive is the word of covenant. So I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ, you to really receive the word of covenant. And the title for today's message is the grace you enjoy through the gospel of Christ. The grace you enjoy through the gospel of Christ. We sh while we are living in this world, we shouldn't follow after this world and the flesh. Uh, after the WRC, we have hold of, hold of the theme, which is change the world frame. So to change the world frame, we shouldn't follow after the world and follow after the culture of the world. So the the heroes that we say in, in the history they do uh, succeed or succeed, but they didn't they didn't change the frame of the world. If we if we live with the method of this world, then we will live as the unbeliever state. So I will tell you again. So to change the frame of the world, we cannot change this with the things in this world. With the lifestyle they follow after the world, world, we cannot change the world frame of the world. And and the word came as the flesh, and he is Jesus Christ. As we accepted Jesus Christ, we became the children of God. And we belong to the heaven. So when we belong to heaven, it means that every step God is, Jesus is with us. So the blessing, uh, the most blessing out of blessings is that God is with us. It is not like teaching what kind, what, teaching or preaching. And God is with us even when we are inside of problems. So that, therefore we can really dream God's dream. So what kind of situation we are facing right now, we can dream uh, God's dream with the fact that God is with us. And with the dream that God has given us, we can change the frame of the world. And also our remnant study is the same way. We shouldn't study to follow after the world. With the strength that God has given us to save the world, we should study. At that time, our study becomes the study that saved the world. I hope you to really receive this blessing in this time. So in this Isaiah chapter 35, it's about the blessings that we receive when God is with us. 
So that's why to, the title for today's message is the grace that the people of God must enjoy. And we are looking through, looking over the I, the book of Isaiah. Uh, especially Isaiah chapter 35 is talking about the grace of God. So if you see this, there's not, uh, uh, there's not no contents about law. In Isaiah chapter 35, it is continuously saying about the abundant grace of God. Especially the verse 2, it is the blessing, the thing happens after we receive the blessing. And verse 3, 4 is the, is the calling of God. It says the those who receive the grace they make strengthen the weak hands and make form the feeble. Say to those who have an anxious hearts, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with ven vengeance. So it is the calling of God to those who receive the God's grace. If you receive the grace of God, then you will bear fruit. That is about verse 5 and 6. It said, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then, the sh then shall the lame man leap like a deer. So the prophet prophet Isaiah had written this before Jesus come, before 700 years before Jesus come. And we could see that when Jesus come, this word has been fulfilled as it is written. When Jesus came, the layman uh, st stood up. And in verse 6 it says, Shall the layman leap like a deer? And also Jesus made a person who is blind to open their eyes and let their ears to open when Jesus really came this work really happened so when this uh, when Jesus Christ becomes our master in our field this kind of thing will take place it is continuously telling us about the fruits that we sh will be the fruits that those who receive the grace will bear. In, and also in verse 6 it says, For waters break forth in the wilderness. And what does this mean? It means that this grace will continue. I hope that who, those who have received the grace through Jesus Christ will receive these answers. So we shouldn't follow after the flesh. In other words, we should break down our old frame. Why is this? Because we are already not, we not belongs to the world, but we are belongs to heaven. In, in the Bible scripture, we could find out that what kind of state is, is the people who have lived, who were separated from God. In verse 1, it says it's in one word. It is wilderness. And also the dry land. It is, it is expressing the state who were separated from God. In verse 7, it says desert. And also it says the dry land. After we committed sin, we are ignorant of our God. We have opened the eye of flesh and our spiritual eye has been closed. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 8, uh, they had been hid, hide, hid themselves.
So uh, those who are like, separated from God, their souls will like wilderness. And what is wilderness? It is written in Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 15, it says like that. It says, the great and terrifying wilderness. And also there is ser fire serpents and scorpions. And also thirsty ground where there was no water. Uh, this is the expression about wilderness. Those who are separated from God, their soul will be like as the same as the wilderness. It says, thirsty ground where there was no water. And it also says that Satan, this evil spirit, walks in Matthew chapter. It says all the things it, Satan is controlling over them. Be that's why after they were separated from God, they have no choice but to live centered on themselves. And so they fall into Genesis chapter 3, self-centeredness. And James chapter 6, they have to live centered on flesh and material. And James chapter 11, they are living for their success. So the life, they have no choice but to worship idols. So the, their states like wilderness, they have no choice but to do superstition. I have heard the person who say who has who study about uh, adolescent addiction. Why these adolescents are falling into uh, internet addiction or game addiction? And why are those are falling into like gambling addiction or pleasure addiction or drug addiction? So if you see their research, they, the those who are, are addicted, they when they were young age, they didn't receive enough love from their parents. That's why they get the spiritual problem. So if, if, even a person, if because they didn't receive the normal love from their parents, that's why they become abnormal. What about the people who didn't receive the love of God? Their heart will be like wilderness and the thirsty ground. That's why they are working very hard with their own effort. The idol is the thing that they grab hold on when they work very hard with their own efforts. In the Bible, you say, God said, do not worship idol. Before God said, don't worship idol, there is a thing that God has said to people. He says that don't make the worship for yourself. So the thing that you are making is the gospel is from God. Religion is the thing that mankind made because they are they have no peace and they have a lot of hardship and they have to do for themselves. And that's what they made it is religion. So there, there's no choice but for them to fall into worshiping idol. Because they fall into worshiping idol and spiritually corrupted. So their heart and their emotions get ill. And their physical body also get disease. Message chapter 5 verse 16. 
those who are burdens come to me. All life has very hard, heavy burden. That's why they have no reason, but they are, have no peace. Not because of something they are anxious, but they, they are anxious without knowing reason. Because all uh, people are burdened. We, uh, we, uh, to have the normal heart, we need to meet God. Because we didn't meet God, that's why they don't really uh, have the true true happiness. But they hold on to other things and they are crying sins. Because they didn't meet God, that's why they are happy to do uh, the crime. If you are separated from God, you be your soul becomes slave. So unbelievers, they don't have any freedom that they don't. So they don't have any freedom not to commit crimes, commit sin. Because they, Satan has hold of the soul of slaves and Satan is controlling over them. They don't want to worship idols, but they don't have any freedom not to worship idols. There's no one who There's no one who wants to commit sin but they don't want to commit sin but they don't have any freedom to do that because they are controlled by the spirit That's why we are confused of our creator That's why we live in the opposite way how God created us uh, our and they are corrupted, centered on themselves. That's why they are they have no choice but auto automatically get destroyed. And like Satan is controlling over themselves. So that's why all the curses and disasters are taking place. That's why envy, enviness, and also murdering are, are taking place. And people are wandering around as the time pass. In 2 Timothy it says, In the age, people will suffer. Because they love themselves. Because they love money. They, because they love pleasure more than God. So at the end, what happens to them? Second Timothy verse, chapter 4 verse 2 They have no any sense So that's the state of them who were separated from God It is like the wilderness and the thirsty ground and desert In first. Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 to it says like this Now in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to the spirit and teaching of demons That's why all the like through the insincerity of liars whose concerns are seared Because mankind, they ignore the word of God and, and separate it from God. That's why their heart is instance, is ignorance, like the wilderness and desert. There is other way, but they don't know this way. In Christ, there is, a, there is the way, but because they don't know this way, that's why they are living like they are living inside of wilderness. And where is that way? They, the way is in Christ. If you walk on that way, there is true happiness. And also there is a glory that other people cannot see. And the wonderful is inside of them that other people cannot see. That is verse 2.
let's 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 see verse two. It says, "It shall it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and sing, and the glory of Lebanon shall be given to it." And they shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. And it says that rejoice and joy and glory and pleasure. Joy. There's a joy that other pe the world pe people inside of the world they don't know. What is salvation? The the glory is there, the the people cannot know. What is salvation? The true wonderful is inside of that. We need to see this from young age. It's so therefore that at that moment we don't fall into the world. If we become the slave of the world, what happens to us? We do, we devote our themselves for the work of Satan. That and that life will destroy. It. I hope you really receive these blessings. And second, uh, enjoy the light of the kingdom of God. In the Bible scripture, it says like this. And then The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom like the cro crocus. When you enjoy the blessing, the when you enjoy the light of the kingdom of God, you receive this blessing. The, the light of the kingdom of God make everything beneficial to you. So if you the king he says that there is no kingdom of God there or here but it is unseen to us what is kingdom of God it makes everything revive I also get revived and you also get revived When the light of the kingdom of God shines, the wilderness will become rich. So the dry soul, the state of soul, becomes rejoice, full of rejoice. And it will be our life will be like a crocus, uh, the blossom like the crocus. Actually, if through Jesus Christ, this already this is already taken place in us. I hope you really enjoy these blessings. So, what happens when the light of life shines to us? In Genesis chapter one, verse three, one to three, it says like here. In verse one, he says, "In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth." And in verse 2 it says, Form and void and darkness was over the face of the deep. And in verse 3, God first said that let there be light and there was light. This light is not the light that we see right now. This is the light of creation and the light of the life. This is the creation light and the light of life that destroy the darkness and if you say Exodus the Israelite comes out from Egypt where they cannot really it comes out and they faced Red Sea at the front of Red Sea they blame Moses If you lead out from Egypt, then you have to lead out to the way. But why did you lead us to the front of the Red Sea? If it will be better for us to die in Egypt, why did you let us to come out of Egypt and die here? Then they were blaming their leader, Moses. They become oneness and blaming Moses. 
At that time, Moses proclaimed, You just stand still and see how God will fulfill His salvation. You will never see these Egyptians again. And he hit the Red Sea and the Red Sea split it. And they say they walk the way like the dry land. It is telling the light of life that split it the Red Sea. And this the Pharaoh he he again raised the armies and follow up, chase after Israelite. And Israelites were walking across the Red Sea. And also Egyptians their armies with their chariot chariot they are following after Israelite. And what's the miracle that God has uh, showed to Israelite? It is telling about the light of life and the light of kingdom of God. It is verse 19 to 20. It is very uh, happy. Let's read together. Let's read Exodus chapter 14 verse 19 to 20. Uh, God is protecting like this to those who have the light of life. The angel of God, they go back to the, the Israelite and also the, and they block Egyptians and Israelites. Uh, at the Egyptian side, there was darkness. And also the Israelite was there was light even at night and they did cannot come to so this is showing how God is protecting his people who have the light of life Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 to the light of All right, if you see a right shine for you, light is, uh, the, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. And you just need to shine this light. And who's this light of life? And he is Jesus Christ. John chapter 1 to 4, especially in verse 3, it says there was life inside of him. And in him was life, and the life was the light of man. And if you see verse 9, the true light which gives life to everyone was coming into the world. Christ has come upon us as the light of creation and light of life. As this light of life and the light of spirit, has, when it shines to us, we, we, we get set free free. Romans chapter 8 verse 2 it says for the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. If you are we are full of light of life we get the power. We get the power, peace and assurance. And we'll be the witnesses to the end of the earth. And that's Acts chapter 1 verse 8. If you continue to receive the light of life, then you will receive the peace of Christ. John chapter 14, verse 17. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. This world, there is no peace. And it says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. 
When we receive the light of God, we receive the peace of Christ. And when we enjoy enjoy the blessing of this light of life, then our field will change into blessing. My personal field gets revived, and also the field of our life also revived. And uh, eventually, the people of God will come back, and that is uh, what is written in our Bible scripture. First, your personal field gets revived. And we become we have we become a person who have leisure. Romans chapter fifteen verse one. We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failing of the weak and not to please ourselves. And we say we will not make yourself a. And Romans chapter fifteen it says you become a person who have, who are strong. A uh, strong faith, and uh, strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. All the people are living centered on themselves, but we are not to please ourselves. We have the power to enjoy the leisure. In, in verse two, it also says not. To please ourselves, but to please our neighbors and do good deeds, because we have leisure and strength. That's why we are we become like this, and we get more abundant and abundant in gospel. In Ephesians chapter one, verse seventeen to nineteen. So it, it, you will enjoy gospel more and more, and that's not the end. Our outside of like our flesh becomes old, but our in inner part will uh, get uh, new power. I hope you through the light of life you get the life of your life, and then your field will get revived. And if you see Genesis chapter twenty-three, Isaac was always fighting because of the will. That's the, his field of life. Uh, that field, the well, welling is connected to their life, and he gave it to. If you see John chapter four, there is a woman from Samaria, and there were five. She had five people, and even uh, a person who's living in her house is not his husband. Her state was dry, and he she met. A life, water of life, and and she told about Jesus, whom she met, and he, her personal life has revived. And when her personal uh, field revived, their life field revived, and he it, and. And the, there are more important answers, and the people of the kingdom of God comes back. It is telling us, right? When we shine the light of glory, then the people of God will come back. Let's see verse ten. Let's read in one voice. And the ransom of it, it is telling us that the 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 people of God who are chosen will come back. I I hope you to believe that the offering that you give for the Bangladesh is the offering for uh, Isaiah chapter thirty five verse ten. In Bangladesh, there are people who are chosen by God. If you re when you really give the resolution with the gospel, then the people who were chosen to God in Bangladesh will come back, and we need to give them really let them really enjoy pleasure. We need to make their uh, sadness disappear through your devotion. Who 
this will take place. And today we are giving offering for Bangladesh IUTC. This is located in the northern part of Bangladesh. It takes about 10-11 hours from the capital city, Dhaka. And there was the evangelist whose name is Dines. So he was before a system pastor and he uh, came to uh, Bangladesh RTS. And while like, he was preaching the gospel, he got the disease. And his heart was like, get, his heart was get, was like, ill. And even though he has this disease, he was preaching the gospel. Like because he had like this disease, he uh, passed away. And even though he had the faith that even my death will make people come back to God. So he told to the pastor Shalom to make build the RUTC in this land. And please come to this place every week and do the ministry. That was his last word. At that place right now, there is RUTC. At that time, because we don't have enough money, it's, uh, they just like, even though they don't have enough money, they just build the RTC and s s remnants are uh, receiving trainings there. And we, we have received the report last week. And also 30 families received Christ. And uh, if our Pastor Denise, their parents was the leader of the Hinduism. So when they ha are doing some like conference or activities, Hinduism activities, and the one who were leading this activity was the Denise pastor's parents. And through this Denise pastor, uh, their parents received gospel. And his little brother also uh, right now is in uh, Bangladesh Seminary School. It is showing us the one person resolution uh, make and the kingdom of God comes upon that place. So with the prayer, when you give the offering, uh, may this first time will take place in that place. The, the Bangladesh who fall into the ignorance of God and they are living with sorrow and sign and that a little amount of money that you are giving of offering will make them really uh, set free from this sorrow and sign and i hope you really give the offering with the rejoice and